Hello. I just wanted to um, give you guys a quick um, update. This is um, help for using Google Scholar to find scholarly materials for your assignment for Trojan Myths that you are currently taking with Ms. Payne. Um, and so what I'm going to do is give you a brief step-by-step -step on what to do in order to acquire scholarly materials through our databases using Google Scholar as your source. So if you type in um, a search term um, like Greek myth in science, and we do a search, we are going to come up with a list of articles. This very first one looks very promising um, and maybe something that you've discussed in class. If you look out to the right, you will notice that there is no link. So this is not available to you with just one click. However, if you copy this title and then go to the KCU webpage for the library, we're going to click on research and then we're going to click on databases. We're going to select academic search complete. And what we're going to do is up at the top, we're going to click on choose databases right next to the title of the database. We want to select all of our EBSCO databases, so we can click on OK. And then, as soon as it loads, you'll be able to paste your title into the top box. And then click on Search. Our result list indicates if we can acquire this article, we do not have it available in full text. But if you look at the bottom, it does say send interlibrary loan request. And we can process that, for, process that for you immediately. So if you click on send interlibrary loan request, it will fill in most of the boxes for you. You will need to tell us when you need this article by. We recommend 10 days so it stays in the system for that length of time. So I would click on February 12, 2023. And then you need to fill in the last two boxes at the bottom of your screen. Your name username is going to be your last name only with the first letter capitalized. So for me, it would be Enders. Your barcode password, as always, is the letters KC followed by your ID number. And then what you will do is at the bottom of your screen, you will su see submit this request and you will want to click on that button and the request will be sent to us. As soon as we receive the article, we will email that directly to you. Okay. I'm going to clear this search and put in a new search and I'm going to go back to our Google Scholar list. And if I scroll down to Neuroscience and Greek Mythology looks like another article that might be very beneficial to what I'm trying to write. Then I will highlight that title. Do the same thing and go into our search screen with all of our databases selected. If you paste the title in, you will see that this article is actually available in full text. If I click on this title, this one will, if you scroll down through, will have a, an abstract that will give you a summary of the article. It will also give you a DOI number in this instance. You can use that in your citations in Zotero Bib. You just have to copy and paste that number into Zotero Bib to get um, your full citation. You can go to the left-hand column to click on PDF Full Text. And it will pull up the article for you to read. If this is an article that looks like it will be beneficial to you, you can go all the way over to the right of your screen 
And at the top, there'll be a Google Drive icon. And if you click on that, you will be able to add this article directly into your Google Drive folder. And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, please contact me or Josh or Charlie. We'd be happy to help you um, determine how to use Google Scholar if that's your preferred method um, and still get the scholarly articles that you need. Good luck and have a great day.